Hi guys, my name is Melissa and I am happy to be joining the BitTech team. I will be focusing more on the reviews and the guide sides of things whilst Alex focuses more on his amazing modding projects. Whilst I have done liquid builds before, this is my first time doing a Corsair Hydro X build, so I'm interested to see how that goes. Um, I will be doing the benchmarks and seeing how it fares against the competitive water cooling kits on the market as well. Right, so let's get everything out and get it ready. Now that we have the Corsair Hydro X kit installed, we put it through some cycles to make sure that all the bubbles were out and just generally that it wasn't leaking. And so far, so good, to be honest. Um, we have put it through some benchmarks to see how it fares against the other kits that are out there. And uh, here is follows. As always, the tests were run with the front of the case panel both open and closed to imitate cases with good and bad airflow, and then tested between 12, 7 and 5 volts to indicate varying fan speeds. At 12 volts open, a thermal take ekes out a small 2 degrees advantage, but this very much is still within the range of margin of error. While at 12 volts closed, EK and Corsair are within 1 degrees of each other and ahead of thermal take by up to 5 degrees. This could indicate better static pressure for the Corsair and EK fans, thereby getting more air through the less than optimised front of the Corsair case. At 7 volts open, Corsair and thermal take are pulling away from the EK kit. While at 5 volts open, Thermal Take and EK manage to keep up with each other, but the Corsair goes into a toasty 81 degrees above ambient. Everything fails to keep the CPU under the 105 degrees thermal throttle limit when testing at 5 volts closed. As you can see, the three comparable kits are roughly in the margin of error between tests, and unsurprisingly, the overall winner is the kit that you have personal preference over, and how much you're actually looking to spend. So with all that done, we do have one of the Corsair XG7 RGB water blocks lying around. Uh, it's no comparison to the other kits that we've reviewed, but basically we want to go ahead and put it in the system anyway. It's going to go on an NVIDIA 2080 Ti graphics card, so let's see how it looks.
So now that we've added the water block onto our GPU and everything's into the system, I wanted to go ahead and make it look consistent throughout the build and just have it so it looks really aesthetically pleasing when it comes to the RGB goodness sides of things. So we added the ML140 fan on the back of the case and then in order to control all of this, we've added the Commander Pro as well, just so you can choose any of the settings that you want and you can choose any color that you want basically. So now that we have everything inside of the system and it looks really, really nice, um, touching up on obviously my thoughts and feelings on the entire installation process and everything. So whilst this isn't my first liquid cool build, this is definitely my first one using the Corsair Hydro X stuff. Um, so first of all, we're going to start with the pump. Generally, I do think that the pump was rather simple to install. The only thing I would recommend when it comes to this kind of stuff is just generally just making sure that you have everything planned out so you know what tubes are going to have you know what fittings you need you know roughly the roots of everything where it's going to go just make sure that you can fit everything in and obviously make sure your case can have everything in to the way you want it moving on to the cpu block one thing i really did enjoy about using the corsair hydro x stuff was the fact that the CPU block already has the pre-applied thermal paste, which made it a lot easier because it meant that I could just literally pop it off, put it back on. Like, it's, it's simple. It was just so easy just to put on and screw it in. In terms of the tubing, I think that it was very straightforward to go ahead and actually put on. You just needed to make sure that everything was a nice snug fit. And obviously the collars, they're nicely screwed on to make sure there's no leakages. Um, the one thing that I did find for me with little delicate fingers was the fittings. They're quite rough. So my fingers ended up getting cut quite a bit. But other than that, everything was straightforward, like I said. Um, as you can see, it looks nice. I think if you were gonna choose to do this and you wanted it to look really aesthetically pleasing, you'd root the tubes a little bit better or something like that. But this is literally just a test build and we just wanted to make sure that everything worked and looks good at the same time. Whilst the GPU block wasn't used in any sort of benchmarking tests or anything like that against any of our other kits that we've done, um, I wanted to add it in just to complete the Hydro X system and just generally make sure that it is consistent throughout basically. So to finally wrap this up, would I use the Corsair Hydro X series again? Yes, I would. For the fact that it is quite considerably easier, and I think that once you've done it for the first time, you know what to expect the next time that you do it if you did decide to go ahead and do it. I think my only main difficulty was when it came to the GPU water block, I found that for first time users, the instructions aren't very step by step. I found that it was very basic. However, it is just a case of unscrewing pull in, put in the water block on, screwing it back in. So it is pretty much just simple. It's just, I feel like for first time users, maybe they just need that step by step. Um, overall though, I do really like the way that everything has turned out and uh, generally I just think it looks great. So guys, that's it for my very first video. I really hope you did enjoy it. If you did, please make sure to go and hit that like button. If you want to see any more reviews coming your way, please make sure to mention that in the comments. And also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do go ahead and do so. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you for the next video. Bye.